Okay, you guys ready? Yeah! Ready, set, go! Hey, Dad. What do toy cars have to do with robots? That's a great question. We'll find out right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Will. Welcome to episode 6 of the Drink Dispensing Droid. We're almost finished. Maybe two more episodes and we're completed. But this episode is massive, so let's get right to it. So let's answer the question, what do these toy cars have to do with robots? Well, it actually starts with my philosophy on robots. Robots should be full of color, like everything that we see in nature. But it seems to me right now that only robots are black and white. And I'm not sure exactly why that is, but we have things like these toy cars to actually look at so that we can figure out color harmony. If you take a look at the color wheel, we see that complementary colors are opposite to one another. Side by side, these colors are pleasing to our eye. So companies spend a lot of time and energy into making sure that the toys that they manufacture have a lot of color harmony. So if you're challenged for what you want to do with your robot, just head to the store, look for any kind of car or any other toy, and you're always going to see complementary colors on the shelf, and that will give you great ideas about what you want to do for your robot. So I really like this car a lot. So this is the one I'm going to choose for the colors for the robot. It's an orange and a blue, which are very complementary to one another. And then instead of using the white, I'm going to replace the white with a gunmetal gray. So then I start experimenting with these colors by taking the model that I built inside of ZBrush and applying colors to different areas of the robot to try to get a balance between the two colors that I've chosen. You can actually apply color directly onto the model in ZBrush. Once you're finished with the coloring in ZBrush, you can actually take screen grabs of the model in different orientations and then bring those into Photoshop so we can adjust the hue and try out different color schemes. Before we start painting the robot, there's a couple of things we need to finish off first before we get started. Those things include sewing his cosmic kilt, creating his belt. I also need to add magnets to the arm shells so that those will stay together without using any external screws. There's a lot to do. Let's get to it.
course, every droid needs an antenna. No, just do the edges. Make sure you're just doing the edges. Oh, okay. I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally loving this paint job. I'm so glad I spent the time going inside of ZBrush and inside of Photoshop and messing around with different options. I think this is the right amount of blue and the right amount of orange. So in the next episode, we're going to finish off the belt, finish off the cosmic kilt by dyeing it, and then also creating a kiosk type table for him, which will allow him to uh, dispense uh, cups and serve the drinks on. So that'll be it for this episode. We'll see you next time on Real Robots. Well, you little turd. <laughs> what the heck is happy on you?